All right, so I've been uh, hunting in uh, Minnesota over the past several uh, recent years. And over the past couple of years, I've been using my 12 gauge smooth bore that uh, I use for turkey hunting. And I've been wanting to kind of fine tune my arsenal and wanted to get something that was more designated for uh, the shotgun season. So this year, um, I went with a new rifle. I've been eyeing this rifle for, for quite a while and uh, the wife was kind enough to get me uh, this rifle for my birthday. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the new edition. All right, so this is the Savage 220 V2 camo. Uh, the shotgun is built like a bolt action rifle with a oversized bolt handle. It has a adjustable accurate trigger that can be adjusted to a heavier or lighter trigger weight. Uh, this rifle comes with a 1 and 24 rate of twist, 22 inch matte carbon steel rifled barrel. The stock is a synthetic stock in the Verdant uh, 2.0 camo. You know, what I love about this stock is that you can adjust the stock for a more precise fit with the AccuFit technology, which allows you to adjust the length of pull and comb height. The rifle comes with a two round uh, detachable magazine, which allows you to shoot from two and three quarters to three inch shells. The scope mounted on this rifle is a fire fuel rapid strike, a 1 6 by 24 rifle scope. It comes with a green, red, and black circle dot reticle with five brightness settings to accommodate your environment preferences. So I got the target set out to at about 50 yards. And I'm gonna start out with uh, this cheaper rifle slug round. This is, you know, your your cheap bulk pack of the Winchester uh, 20 gauge two and three quarter rifle slug hollow points. I'm planning on setting this rifle in at about 50 yards, uh, simply because I'm gonna be hunting in the bluff country. It's pretty thick where where I hunt, and the terrain is pretty uh, pretty steep too. So I don't really see myself taking any shots over 50 yards. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the two bucks that I shot at this property, both were 30 yards on in. Will there be opportunities to take shots over 50 yards? Of course. Uh, from my past experience, I really haven't seen uh, the opportunity to do so yet. Kind of sucks that we got the sun right in my face here, but we're gonna do what we can here. All right, 50 yards. Uh, this first round, it's just to see if I get it on paper. So that basically confirms that I am on paper. I've made some adjustments to the scope. So now I'm just gonna take a shot from each brand. The next round I'm gonna shoot is this Hornady SST shotgun slug. 250 grain, two and three quarters. Oh yeah, that definitely came down and to the right just a little bit. It's, it's almost center. Elevation is good. Windage is just slightly to the right. This is the Winchester Copper Impact, three quarter ounce. Uh, velocity is at 1600. I'm just gonna take one round down the range just to kind of see where it lands. Bullseye right where I where I wanted it. Looking good so far. Uh, next one, this is actually the uh, the Remington AccuTip. This is the three inch. I know they make a three inch and they make a two and three quarters. This is the larger one coming in at 1900 um, as the velocity. This is a 260 grain projectile. 
And I'm gonna send this round down. Oh yeah, that's, that's money too. That's dead on, it's just slightly to the left of my last shot. And then the last one, which is what I think I'm gonna go with is the Remington AccuTip. This is the two and three quarter uh, inch round, 1850 uh, in regards to velocity. And this is also a 260 grain projectile. I think all four shots look pretty good. Um, since we know this gun is dialed in at about 50 yards, let's go ahead and just do a quick rundown at 100 yards with each ammo once again. So first round up is gonna be this Hornady again. Oh man, the sun is making it a little hard. Yeah, it's right in my face. Okay, but I'm gonna give it a go. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, at a hundred yards, it's close. Next up, let's try this Winchester Copper Impact. That one was to the left. I definitely felt like I pulled it. Uh, at about 100 yards, that's a dead deer. Uh, the next round here is actually going to be the Remington AccuTip 3 inch. Let's see if I can block out that sun. I honestly can't see where that one hit. It's probably about an inch to the left, um, maybe two inches or so higher. And then finally going to the two three quarter inch. At, at 100 yards, Obviously, uh, with some more fine tuning, I can definitely get it to where I want it to be at. So this ammunition's pretty expensive. I'm not gonna waste any more. All right, so this is probably gonna do it. So I moved it all the way back to about, I'm gonna say about 25 yards. Let me just double check. Close enough, it's, it's actually 33 yards. But let's go ahead and run through our ammo again. First one up is the Hornady, 33 yards. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to the, the copper impact. That's gotta be dead on, let's see. Oh yeah, so it's looking like 25 50 yards. I mean, if I keep it on, it should, it should be fine. Three inch Remington. Yeah, it's basically one right after another in there. And last but not least, two three quarters. Let's hold this right on center. Ooh, 
that barrel is getting pretty hot. All right, so that's basically going to end my range session out here. And first time getting this gun out, I'm pretty pleased with it. 25, 50, 100 yards with different types of, of ammo. Uh, I've been pretty pleased with it. So once we draw closer to the season, I'm obviously gonna come back out and really get this, uh, this rifle zeroed in on a specific load that I wanna go with. But uh, right out of the box, I'm pretty pleased, that's for sure. With that being said, if you like what you saw, please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.